y'all what's up what's going on welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm bringing you my current favorites if you've been rocking with me for a while you know that I don't do favorites every month that's not my gig however I just wait until I kind of collect enough things that I feel like I'm feeling and share it with you guys I believe the last time I did a favorites it was in December and that was basically everything from the year 2017 so let's go ahead and jump right on into this we're gonna talk about first some nail polish so the first color we're gonna talk about is the color that I have on my nails right now I am loving this I typically don't go this bold on my nails but I saw it the other day when I was on my break at the salon walked over to a little nail salon that's next to us and this shade is OPI and it's called to infinity and blue yawn I thought that was a super cute name this is fun for the summer it's popping on the brown skin what's up I love it my only issue is let's talk about nails real quick okay so I don't like acrylics I don't like gel I don't like acrylic because it jacks up your nails I don't like the gel because my nails grow really fast so between the cuticle and you know where the polish grows out when I'm doing my clients hair their hair gets hung in it or when I'm doing my hair my hair gets hung on it and it's annoying and then once it gets hung and, and it starts peeling and it just irritates the crap out of me I am someone who loves having my nails polished I love it I feel like when I don't have it it's incomplete however I cannot find anything that a won't jack up my nails or last me a long time that works for me I know the whole big movement right now everyone's doing was it the SNS the, the, with the dip in the powder I don't know anything about that I guess I could probably ask some of my nail tech friends but I just I, I rock with my normal polish I get my nails polished once a week and it's annoying because I got this done on Tuesday and it's already chipping off which leads me to my next favorite is my OPI polish and bubble bath so typically I rock with a lighter color on my fingernails just simply because I know in two to three days it's going to be chipping off so with a lighter color when it chips off obviously you don't see it that well but when you're rocking something that's kind of loud and it starts to chip it doesn't look as fresh and polished I like to look you know just very fresh clean polished edgy chic classy that's my gig and I feel like when it chips it kind of jacks up my whole aesthetic so anyway I love bubble bath because it's a nice pink neutral shade it's light enough so that way if it does chip I don't look jacked and it's cute I just think it's cute Next up, we're going to talk about something that I feel like I am eating my words, which happens from time to time. I am a very humble person, and when it comes down to me eating my words, I will admit it. It's like, oh yeah, I said that. Now I'm going to retract my statement. In regards to It Cosmetics, I don't know what video it is, but I think it, no, I know it was in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I'll always go through, talk about what I want to buy, what I don't want to buy, and It Cosmetics popped up, and I just said, eh. I don't really have the desire to buy anything from them well I did not buy this this was given to me by a client so this brush here and I've heard it cosmetics brushes are bomb I ain't even gonna lie okay I have heard that I've touched them a couple of times but a client gave this to me it's it cosmetics and this is the jumbo powder brush this brush is so bomb <laughs> like I'm not even kidding I've been rocking you know my movement right now is powder foundation and this just gets everything on it's big so we can cover a lot of ground which means we can move fast it feels so good it's light it's fluffy I mean this feels sturdy it is sufficient I have no idea how much this costs I'm scared to death to check the price but I will do so and drop it down below but I've been loving this brush what can I say any of my words good job it cosmetics your powder brush is bomb next up again eating my words twice in a row this is a product that I bought when it came out I thought I was gonna love it tried it very discouraged didn't like it wasn't into it and I recently revisited it again because I'm doing things a little bit different now with my whole foundation routine and I like it now this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in mahogany this is the Difa shade I was very underwhelmed by this when I was first trying it out it was looking muddy on me it just was not doing anything for me and so I pulled out my bronzers again because you know we're here now we're 90s what's up it's 
the south were hot and my Shea Moisture can't find that bad boy anywhere. My cover, my cover girl queen, I like that, but it's making me look a little too red. So I told myself, let me just try this again. And I tried it and I like it now. What I do is I just get a lot, cause you do get a lot of pigment with it. I just get a lot on the brush and I just put it on that accordingly. But I think what has changed it for me is when I was testing this out, I was testing it on top of liquid foundation. Of course, liquid foundation then powder. For some reason, I feel like this looks much better on me when I don't have that liquid foundation layer. So I've been, I've been using this for a week now and I ain't mad at it. I actually have it on today and I don't think it looks too bad. Now wait a second, before you guys are looking at it, the kind of like this, you can see my blush more so than the bronzer, but my blush is um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Sun Power, Sun Power, but I like the way that this photographs, because I feel like sometimes with my other bronzers, I can always pop off too red, and I feel like this does not look too red on me on camera. My um, blush that I have on now, it is a little bit of a warmer, rosier, so that's what you're seeing, but this is very, very subtle, and. I like it. The next product that I have, I've been trying to figure out if they're no longer selling this because if not, I'm sorry. I was on the website and it just said sold out, but I have been loving the MAC Patrick Star Powder. I bought this when it came out over Christmas, never did a video on it. I don't even really think I talked about it, but a lot of these products are products that I use behind the scenes that you guys don't see on the channel because when I'm on the channel, I'm normally talking about something specific. So these are kind of like my everyday things, but I love this powder. I I have it on today. I busted it out, oh, uh, how long ago? Over a week ago, because like I said, we started getting warm, and I just wanted something different in regard to my Sasha Buttercup powder. Nothing wrong with it, but I really love the way that this makes my makeup look. It makes me look very smooth and airbrushed. I have it on up under my eyes, which is kind of wild, because you guys know I only use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish up under my eyes. Sometimes with the loose powder under the eyes, it can get cakey, but I can chop that up to it looking okay now because we're warm. We're not in the cool weather anymore we're warm so I can stick a little powder under there and not look like a dried up corpse so this is bomb next products that I have okay so I got this from Sephora two days ago I've been rocking with this for I don't know maybe three years now this is the Stila aqua glow concealer I know what you're thinking aqua glow you always pound your chest and talk about how you're so oily hold on though just hold on pump the brakes the reason why I like this is because this is the perfect summertime concealer because I don't want to wear a bunch of crap on my face in the summertime. It's nice and light. It covers. It gives me a little bit of pigment and I'm on the way. If you're someone who's looking for a beat for the cheap seats, this is not your gig. This is not it. But if you like a your skin but better makeup no makeup look, this is perfect. I don't have any issues with the creasing up, believe it or not. Do set it with um, loose powder though because otherwise you might get a little creasing. If you are dry, you will like this. I, my Sephora had it half off just simply because the Sephora and the JC Pennies they are doing away with Stila, which I was kind of like, what? And the girl was telling me that Stila just doesn't sell that great. So I was kind of like, dang. But when I looked online on Sephora.com, unfortunately, it's not half off. So if you are at a smaller Sephora, more maybe check if you have a Sephora that's inside JC Pennies because they do they're condensed. They don't keep it G the Sephora's and JC Penney's hardly have anything <laughs> that's just, at least mine anyway whenever I go in there looking for something I typically end up pissed off because they just simply don't have it but all good so then I have to go to South Park which is the bougie mall with the big Sephora and I always find what I need but if your Sephora is doing away with Stila see if you can grab this I should have got two but I didn't get two because I didn't want it to expire because I know I won't go through a whole bottle through the summer unless I work really hard at trying to use it all but this is really really great Urban Decay finally got my hands on some primer potion and caffeine this is bomb when I tell you my eyeshadow stays on all day don't get me wrong I love my Kat Von D high voltage eye primer the issue there is is discontinued she doesn't make it anymore so I had to start just slowly just separating myself from it this is so 
good. My eyeshadow stays on, it doesn't budge, it doesn't crease. I love the pigmentation of this. It's still bright, it's definitely, it's a shade is caffeine, so it is made for deeper, darker skin tones. Now, it doesn't match me 100%. I would say it's probably here. I'll give you guys a quick little swatch. It's just like a neutral, my lights are so bright so it's going to pop off super light, but it's just a very neutral tone eyeshadow base that works really, really good and I'm digging it. I love the consistency of it. It blends out. Most of the times with primers, I feel like I have to put on a translucent powder all over my eye first just to kind of set it so nothing skips. I don't have to do that with this. I can put this on, I can go in with my eyeshadow and we're good to go. So that's bomb. Next up, I've been testing this out late to the game. I use my Sephora points, and this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte. It's the travel size, tiny. I feel like I saw results with this one. You guys know I'm kind of finicky when it comes to my primers. I'm like, oh, does it work? Does it really not work? I don't know. I'm kind of like, eh, eh, eh. I saw results with this. I felt like instantly my skin looked nice and smooth. I was matte. And I do really think that with this one, and this is, I've only said this about one other primer. That's the Becca Ever Matte, because the Becca Ever Matte will suck your soul dry. You will have nothing left inside of you. But um, this didn't do that. But this, I saw results. I felt like I stayed matte. My skin looked good. It was, it was a movement. So, kudos. I don't, I haven't used a Too Faced product in God knows when, just simply because everything's always rainbows, unicorns, and mermaids. And I'm a grown woman. I'm not into that. No shade. No shade. <laughs> Now I have some lip products. I have been wearing the crap out of my Fenty Stunna Lip Paint. This is just, if you, everyone needs a red lipstick, okay? If you're looking for a red lipstick, you need this one. It is legit universal. It works on all skin tones. I don't care how fair you are. I don't care how deep you are. This is going to work for everyone. It is beautiful. I feel like it just makes your lips look voluptuous. It takes your makeup look to a whole nother level. This is great. Very, very, very probably, yes, I will say it, my favorite red lipstick. My favorite red lipstick used to be the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I'm not a big liquid lipstick wear, but if I did pick one, my former is always Kat Von D because it's the most comfortable. This is also very comfortable. It's matte, but it, again, it's not like that suck everything out of you matte. Very, very comfortable, and this shade is just gorgeous. My next favorite is this shade that I have on my lips here. This is the best nude I have ever worn, period. Close the book in life. I love this shade. I have been looking at this shade, I know, easily since it came out. I think it's, I know it's been out for over six months. It is a gloss. I'm a gloss girl. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. She makes, those are my favorite glosses of life. And the shade is Amber. How fitting is that? Amber, my name's Amber. Like, come on, right? It, it was meant to be. But I love this shade. It complements so many different eye looks. I feel like it's light, but it's not too light to the point where I, it makes me look ashy because I'm not trying to look like Tyrone from the Chappelle Show. You know what I mean? But um, this looks so good. I can pair this with anything. I can do a light eye, smoky eye, whatever the case may be, this is good. So she lives in my purse and I have to make sure that I put her back so that we don't forget her. And then the last makeup product I have is the MAC Studio Fix Powder NW43. This has been my ride or die, my homie for the past month. Love it, oldie buddy goodie. It is great. Let's talk about some hair products really quick. So I have a hair mask that I have been using. Before I get into hair products, let's chit chat really quick. Hair products I feel like are very, very intimate. And I feel like... I'm kind of mad at myself because when I did my video on products where you should splurge and save your money on, I kept it very makeup condensed. I didn't talk about hair at all, but I should have just simply because I feel like your hair products, you should splurge on your hair products because if you want good hair, you want to see good hair results, especially if you are... I need to pull my hair out some. It's starting to dry up. Especially if you are a natural hair girl, 
you just need to buy what works for your hair now if you're something that works for your hair happens to be affordable cool now I'm not saying you know oh go out ball out spend eighty dollars on a shampoo no 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 no. one product that's ridiculous but if something does cost a little bit more and it does work for your hair I think you should just splurge and do what you do because when you look good you feel good you feel good you do good when you got a good hair day everything else just kind of flows so the mask that I have been using everyone knows I'm a weed out thumper that is what I use on my hair that is what I recommend to my clients at the salon we sell them at the salon that I work at I wish they would sponsor me just simply because yo I'm a believer in your products but this is the meltdown extreme repair mask as you can see I use this bad boy I use this once a week what I do is I clarify my hair once a week yes clarify shampoo my natural hair I feel like shampooing and clarifying are negative words in the natural hair world which I don't understand doesn't make any sense to me but whenever I clarify my hair which is once a week I always follow it up with this hair mask I sleep in it I love the way that this mask makes my hair feel it feels so soft my hair is manageable it's hydrated it's not dried out this is bomb you can get it from Ulta and you can also get it from Sephora I have never seen a smaller version of this but um it is for dry damaged texture so if you feel like your hair is very very dry definitely check this out it says for damaged textures um my soapbox to if your hair is damaged you just need a haircut because if it's already damaged there is nothing on this world no product that is going to revert damaged hair back to health you gotta <laughs> snip it off and then the next hair product that I have, this is a styling product by Weedot. It is their Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. This is everything, especially y'all know I live in the South. It's humid. This keeps my hair on point and it doesn't even give you like a hard little crunch. I know some people are really funny about, oh, I don't want anything. I don't want any crunch. I don't mind crunch because to me, crunch means hold crunch means no frizz now is it like something that's super super hard to the touch no but my thing is you shouldn't be touching your hair anyway especially if you are someone that has natural hair curly kinky hair when you touch it it frizzes out it expands so the fact that something has a little bit more of a stronger hold or a crunch really shouldn't bother you because you shouldn't be having your hands in there in the first place but this is so bomb it tames the frizz in my hair my curls look divine they look good love this product Moving on to skincare, this is the Instant Naturals Youth Express Eye Gel. I was using the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic, however, I am back on this and I am realizing that after using both of them for a long period of time, say hello to Marillo because he just came in. Hello. Oh, he's not gonna come. Yes. Oh, bring that to me. All right, so my dinner is here. Marillo just made me some tacos. <laughs> Muito obrigada. Do not know yay so follow Marillo's kitchen for some Brazilian cuisine so good I'm gonna eat this as soon as I'm done but um I love this so much because it is a gel I feel like gels are the movement especially if you're oily I love the way it feels it's hydrating up under the eyes I use this every morning every night and this is way more affordable than the Mario Badescu I believe the Mario Badescu runs for $22 and this one is 12 I get mine off of Amazon for moisturizer, I have moved off of my Shea Moisture Coconut, was it the 100% Coconut Hydrating Face Lotion? Not using that anymore just simply because I, I was sick of it. I didn't want to. And also because my serum that I use at night does have retinol in it and I needed something with a little touch of SPF. So I moved back to the Mario Badescu Oil Free Moisturizer. It has SPF 17 in it. I love this if you are oily this is a great moisturizer it's hard to find moisturizers that don't leave you greasy when you are oily skin this one does not leave me greasy sinks right on in by the time I've walked the dogs made my breakfast came upstairs everything is good to go my skin's primed and I can move on this is great next I got some body products I have my soap here this is the raw sugar body wash raw coconut and mango cold press I get this from Target the reason why I like this is because when it comes to my body products especially I try 
I try really, really hard to be good and keep it as natural and organic as possible because we have to realize what we put on our bodies, it will reflect out on our skin. The same thing, what we eat, it's gonna show on our skin. So I try to be really, really good. Sometimes, you know, I drop the ball. I ain't perfect. I'm human. Everything can't always be 100% natural organic. They have different fragrances and this is very affordable. This 25 fluid ounce bottle, I believe was $6.99. That's not bad. Last us a long time. Marilla and I both use this. So we need something that lasts because we're tall people. We're big people. We got a lot of body. You know what I mean? So this is great. And then I have the um, lotion that I've been loving. I'm all, actually almost out. I've been using this since... March. Dr. Teal's body lotion. I believe I picked this up from Walmart. Yeah, because when my goddaughter had a basketball tournament, I needed some lotion. But this one has coconut oil in it. I love the scent of it. It's paraben free. It smells so good. And I'm all about smells. If something does not smell decent, I can't put it on my body. So this is the lotion that I have been loving. And then the last product, I touched on this briefly. I want to say in the fall around my birthday, I might have done a favorites video then. I'm not sure, but I was talking about the importance of having organic tampons just simply because we have to pay attention again to what we are putting in our body. So organic tampons, bleach free. You don't want anything screwing up your lady parts because she is a very sensitive person because she is a very sensitive area and we have to take great care of her. So I have my organic tampons and I found organic panty liners as well. Probably TMI. I don't know about y'all, but my flow is insane. Like it's, it's a lot. So on top of my tampons, I do have to do a panty liner as well. And I was so happy that I found organic ones just simply because it's just better for you straight up do your research on it you will not be sorry it is worth the investment are the organic products a little bit more yes absolutely but you have to really consider like invest in yourself invest in your lady parts we need everything to flow and work properly down there it's worth it all right guys so thank you so much for watching my favorites video i know it was a long one briefly you guys probably want to know what's on my face i have on the new cat von d hey rocket i have on the new cat brown I have on the new Kat Von D um, cream gel brow. I can't think of the name of it. I'll put it down below. I have on my eyes Kylie Cosmetics purple palette. Don't clock me for it. I like that palette. If you don't like her, that's great. Do you do whatever you want. Me, I like the palette. So I rock it. Um, Kylie Cosmetics purple on my foundation. I have on the MAC Nourishing Waterproof Longwear Foundation. Amber Lip Gloss and Anastasia Beverly Hills and Sun Power Mac Mineralized Skin Finish on the cheeks. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.